Okay. Peace, Salam, Salam, Hotep. This is Fundi Fi of the Agenda. How is everybody? I've done my best to stay away from this case, but I can't. I can't do it. I can't do it. I have to channel what I am feeling, and this is the best way for me to do that. One, I predicted the outcome. I predicted the outcome when they said that six of Zimmerman's peers were six white women. I knew it was a slam dunk for the defense right there. Because that beat, that beat all odds. All odds. Now, to put away the fact that I did predict it because there is no true justice for black folk in America. Let's just be honest. This baby went on trial for his own murder, even though he was murdered by a grown man who stalked him. As a martial artist, I had to ask myself, what do I teach the kids now? I teach them one to try to evade a creepy old man. Get away from him. You know, track somewhere, backtrack, hide, whatever. Try to find something that you can use to protect yourself. Get on your cell phone. Tell somebody what's happening. From my understanding, this little brother did all that. Then, upon being confronted, because he already tried to flight, now he has to fight. He confronts the creepy old man who is stalking him. And when, I'm not going to speculate on what happened, but I will speculate. No, we know the outcome. The baby was shot. And upon shooting a child... No evidence is taken from the person who shot the gun immediately? He's let go? Since when does Neighborhood Watch get a gun and defied the instructions on the phone? We understand as black women that it has always been open season on our children. But this, we can't shape this. I'm not sure if this is the straw that breaks the camel's back, but sisters, we cannot lose our heads. Now is the time, if ever, to play this game because we understand this can't possibly be in this judicial system where we are supposed citizens of the United States of America, but we are profiled on a regular basis. I don't know the last time I saw or heard a old white man being stopped and frisked. And if so, please hit me up. I want to know that. I want to be able to say that has happened. As a black mother, mm. teach your children the truth. It's not like they don't know it. They use social media faster and stronger than we do. So we can't lie about it. There is no cover up of it. I heard, I heard that Akon said we should go back to Africa. Okay, Akon. Where exactly? Because we're still coming with our psychosis. Do we speak the language? Is it our tribe? Yada, yada, yada. Hooey, hoo, hoo. Tried that. 
because surely you're bringing the infiltrators with us because they're always with us. Our organizations have been infiltrated since the 60s. And if you believe that the infiltration is not full and complete by 2013, even you are delusional. Butterfly, bless her heart, is in the same condition I am. We're not, we, it, how deep does the rabbit hole go, Alice? When do our children get the same ability to live and prosper and not worry When are we treated as human beings with a soul, with a heart, with humanity? We are people who were taken and stolen against our will. And brought here to work generation after generation after generation. And when set free, all we wanted was to be left the fuck alone. And we built our cities and we stayed to ourselves and we prospered. And it was burned and bombed and destroyed and we were killed in masses. But we still wanted to be part of the American dream even though we built this bitch. Is the dream over? It's a fucking nightmare of which we have yet to wake up from. And this is not just an assault on black people. Let's not get that twisted. This is an assault on every child walking home profile. In their own neighborhood. So if you believe. That this is going to stop. At Trayvon Martin. No it won't. Last time a black woman got angry. And fed up. You were sitting on a bus. Now there are multitudes of us fed up because now the the big question I've been asked, Sister C, how do I protect my baby? A black boy should be proficient with a slingshot with ball bearings at 10 years old. And hopefully, if he can get through the system without getting a crime, his 18th birthday, 21st birthday, a permit for seal carry. I'm tired. You can't bring your hands to a gunfight. Get your NRA cards. Do it legally. Go to the range. 
make sure your children are proficient in the ways of self-defense. We are being stalked. Our children are being stalked. And the murderers are blatantly getting off for it. My sisters, this is what I was slapped with by a brother that I love dearly when I had my breakdown about this. This is not the time to be uncivilized. Now is the time to show the greatest bravery and the greatest courage. If we were ever gods and goddesses, now is the time to show that. We have been dealt this blow before. This ain't nothing new. It just never happened in our generation. But it is happening quietly all over the country, all over the world. And nobody understands but us. Oh, I'm not saying that a Mexican or a Puerto Rican brother or sister can't understand discrimination, but not in the perspective of a black man or woman in America. It is unique in itself. I said all that to say this. This is nothing new. They just ripped open an old wound. And knowing what we know now about natural health and natural care. Best thing for this type of wound is to pack it with honey. Let it coat and seal itself. Let it heal. Put some aloe on it. Cool it off because it's hot. Great yarn. We're going to pull it back in to its perspective. Great yarn. Because know this, and this is for everybody. Know that there are powers that be that will benefit from a race war. We're not going to give it to them. It would be the reason to start martial law. Go check out the FEMA camps. And they're pushing and pushing and pushing it. Ladies and gentlemen, let's not give it to them. This is Fundi Fee of the Agenda. You can catch us on the show up there. Please subscribe. Please like. Um, comments are open whether you like it or not. The comment box is there. Please share. I'm on Twitter under Fundi Fee. You can also follow me on Instagram under Fundi Fee. And we're always doing our henna five. That's hashtag. H-E-N-N-A-F-Y-D. You can follow me as a henna artist there. Peace. Shalom. Shalom. Hotel. Take care of yourselves and your family. Peace.